Hi friends, it's Dr. Cherry. I'm back again to talk to you about art. It is our last week of art before summer starts. It has been a really wonky few weeks with the quarantine and I miss being in class with you. I miss watching you work and watching you problem solve and watching you discover new things. I miss teaching. I miss all those things about you. I especially miss all the great ideas that you give me. So what we're going to do for the summer, actually what I'm going to do for the summer, is I'm going to keep making videos, checking back in with you, and showing you what I'm working on. Now you know I've told you a million times that you don't need a lot of things to make art. You can make art out of things that you find around your house, in your garage, in your yard. I really like recycling things and making something new out of something old. So I've been working on a few projects with my kids. You know, I have two kids. They are six and a half and fifteen and a half, so very different age groups. And one of the things that we've been working on is painting birdhouses. Now we can find these really cute birdhouses at Michael's. They're about five or six dollars each, but I'm going to show you one that we've been working on. This is a little birdhouse. Now it comes plain wood, this color on the bottom. But using your paint, I just painted it on sides and I added my favorite things, cherries, right? Now uh, I use acrylic craft paint that you can find sometimes at the dollar store, often at Michael's, and they're just little tubes of different colors. Um, so you can get as many colors as you want. If you have any paint laying around your house, you may try that. If someone recently painted a wall in your house, you can use that kind of paint. But keep in mind, if it's going to be outside, you need to seal it with something to keep the moisture out. So I have this spray seal that I use. It's just like spray paint, and I cover it, and it's clear, and that will keep it at least for one season. So that's one of the projects that um, my children and I are working on. Another project that we're working on is painting and using tape to mask off different areas. So if you have painting tape or painter's tape, you put it on all the places that you want to stay white. So I found these big giant canvases. This one actually has my son's name on it. It says Jack. So he used the blue tape to mask off all the places he wants to stay white. And I think he's going to go back and paint the stripes another color. But this way he can paint it all yellow, which is one of his favorite colors. He's going to paint it all yellow. And then when he peels the tape off, he's going to go back where the stripes are and paint another color, but leaving his name white. And we did this already with my daughter. We finished it yesterday. She taped off her name, and then we painted over the tape. So you can see this one has her name on it. Let's go big. It says Delaney. And we also cut out some shapes, some hearts, and circles to add to hers. So this is going to hang over her bed when we get some hooks for it. The last thing I want to show you is something that I found in my basement. It's these little round wooden tables. They have the screws on the back for the legs, and it's just kind of plain wood on front. Usually people put a little tablecloth or something over the, so that it's the legs are covered, but I'm, I lost the legs, to be quite honest. I don't know where they are. But I'm going to use this as my painting surface. And if you can see, I drew first with pencil, then I traced with a Sharpie, that's right, and then the last step was to erase. Remember in the art room, we draw, 
trace, erase, and color. And before we even draw on our final paper, we always practice first, right? So we know exactly what we want to do. And practice does not make perfect, it makes progress, correct. So that's a lot going on. So we're going to work on our canvases. We are going to work on the table. We've got some birdhouses. Oh, one other thing. In my basement, which is where I keep my collections of things, you know, I like to collect things, I found old ceiling fan blades. And I found, can you see this? Ceiling fan blades. This used to be for a part of a fence, and this used to be part of a fence. So I just glued them together. Liquid nail is really a cool, a cool glue, but you need adults for that. So if you look on the other side, these really are ceiling fan blades. And then I just screwed them into the wood. Now I started painting it, you see it's purple. Uh, with silver wings. It's going to be a dragonfly, I think, when I'm finished. But I got a lot of work to do before it's ready. It's pretty heavy, too. So those were just some things I found in my basement that I'm going to make art with. So really fun, really cool things. So I cannot wait to hear what you find, what you can create with, that you find in your space. If you wanna do some extra chores and earn some money, maybe you could get to Michael's and pick up one of these birdhouses. They have a ton of them, different styles. This one, the wheel even turns. So I'm gonna put these out in my yard to hope to get some bird visitors. Well, I gotta tell you, it's been a rough few weeks, but I am hope that everybody is safe and healthy and that you will have wonderful stories to tell me when you come back to school in the fall and I want you to remember a couple of things one I love you we talk about that all the time there are going to be people in your life who care about you even if you're not part of their family you just have people that you care about so know that Dr. Cherry loves you, and I miss you. Also remember that practice makes, not perfect, practice makes progress. That's right, nobody's perfect. And if we were perfect, life would be boring. So you just wanna get better at the things that you like to do. When you do make a mistake, don't ball up your paper and throw it away. See what you can turn it into. Often I find that the mistakes I make turn my project into something even better. So that's why I call them happy accidents. Because if not for that accident, I would have not succeeded in the same way. So even if you make a mistake, keep going and do your best. Uh, experiment with anything that you can find, whether you're tying sticks together with a rope to make a sculpture or using sidewalk chalk outside, add a little water, see what that does. If you are painting on a canvas, try taping part of it off and see what that looks like. So you have a lot of opportunities to make art during the summer. And lastly, if you get a chance, check back in with me. Show me what you're doing. I don't know if Class Dojo will be working, but I know our Facebook page at school will still be up and running, so you can always send me a message through Facebook. You have my email address at school. But don't forget, I want you to check in on my YouTube channel and see what we're up to, okay? So the YouTube channel is Art with Dr. Cherry. So friends, I hope that you are healthy and happy and enjoying the beautiful weather and know that Fanny Fitzgerald teachers, we love you, we miss you, 
and we can't wait to see you again in the fall. So take good care, keep making art, and save it so that you can show me when we go back to school because maybe we'll have a little art gallery show with all of the wonderful things that you've been making since we've been stuck at home. That would be cool. That would be fun. I can't wait to see it. So I love you guys. I miss you. See you soon.